So Pauline, you've been running the Maypole for 26 years? 26 years, yes. And um, what's happening with it now? just explain. Right, I'm passing the Maypole on to now a lady that's helped me over a number of years, so I'm very confident that she'll take on the job, do it as well. Um, all that we need now, because it's so unique to Bourneville, we want to make sure that all the children in Bourneville hear about us and come along and sign up. What do they do, the children, when they come and do the Maypole? If some people, if people have never heard of it before, what is it? Right, um, the Maypole is traditional Maypole dancing. Um, we have one of the largest Maypoles, not in height, but in quantity of children, boys and girls. We have two circles of strings and they total 52 children, which makes it the largest Maypole in the country. And they, ever since it sort of started, they've always all been in white, white ankle socks, white shoes, so it's really a spectacular sight to see. Um, we have a festival queen that's crowned on the day by the retiring queen. Um, they have what we call train bearers who hold their cloaks and they're in a lovely bright red. And then we have heralds to announce their arrival and we have a crown bearer in blue so that offsets all the different colours mm -hmm. and then the strings are all just lots of different colours. And have you seen a drop in the number of children wanting to get involved? Unfortunately yes. Um, we only practice um, once a week they will do for half an hour and then we, when we go outside in June they'll practice for an hour twice a week. Uh, but unfortunately I think it's today's age where there's lots of activities after school and to take another hour out of the day um, I think that's sort of the decline that's uh, coming in at the moment. And you're passing it on to Sue Walsh now. Yes. What do you hope that she's going to do with the Maypole? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that she will get the same support that I've got and perhaps even more that, you know, we'll get a lot more coming along. How do you think we can encourage more children to get involved? Um, well, we do lots of advertising and this year we're actually going to go to, we're sending a representative to the school and just go go through exactly what's going to happen and we have got a little short video that we can show and sort of like people say well what do you do at the Maypole and we can show them and it's open to boys and girls. Brilliant. You know, so. so when um, when are you going to be starting looking for children to get involved? Right we'll be starting at uh, the beginning of March we'll have what we call registration and then that will go right through up until practicing as I said um, it's half an hour once a week and uh, till we go outside in June and it's always the last Saturday in June that we do the Maypole. What do you think the children who do get involved get out of the day? Um, I, I think that they're representing Bourneville and they're, they're there to give people, it's a fun day that George Cabri started over a hundred years ago for his employees and I think it's the tradition that knowing that they're continuing it through. Like for myself, I was in the Maypole, went all the way through, Festival Queen and then my children took part in it and um, my grandchildren have been in it and it's just something that you can talk about.